What's up guys, Justin from Fix My PEV, and I have been making a lot of claims lately in regards to the calibration tools. They're actually Bluetooth. This is just a clarification point. The Bluetooth commands that I have on my website are not actually Rewheel. The Rewheel project was removed from the internet at the request from Future Motion, and they're going through their own battle and journey with that but some of the tools that were available on the Rewheel website actually allowed you to connect to your board through Bluetooth. Had nothing to do with firmware modification whatsoever, but was an extra tool that was provided by the Rewheel project. So as you know, I do have some of those Bluetooth tools on my website in the calibration articles for, I think, four boards. The GT, the Pine X, the Pint, and the XR. And actually the plus I don't have that one I don't have that one hosted right now but it could technically work on the plus but anyway people have been asking me about a claim I've been making in regards to the GT you can see I'm actually on the GT right now this is my personal GT so I'm gonna take my personal GT and I'm going to prove to you guys that if you disconnect your battery and you want to reconnect it that the corrupted memory error is 100% fixable with the calibration command that is on my website. So it's the same exact one that calibrates the level and the BMS. And when I say calibrates the BMS, I mean that you could swap your BMS, take one from another GT and put it in your board and you would be able to recalibrate and you wouldn't have any issues. So what I'm gonna do for you today is I am going to take my personal GT, I am going to take it apart just for the fun of it, I'm gonna unplug the battery, I'm gonna confirm that we get the corrupted memory error, and then I'm gonna fix it right in front of everybody's faces just to show you that it's possible. Okay, let's get this thing reassembled. It doesn't like when the motor's not connected and I can run calibration right now and take care of that, but I want that corrupted memory error to show up. So let's reassemble this thing and we will try again. This is not gonna be perfectly level. I'm gonna have to redo this anyway, but. Get this, get this guy nice and set up. I'm gonna turn it back on. Make sure that we got our app connected. Corrupted memory. I'm gonna get Webler ready. And this thing's probably gonna die. This is a note that I should add. So when I disconnected the battery, it was at 69%. And after I disconnected and reconnected it, it thinks it's at 1%. So I don't know why that is, but that is exactly what it's doing. So that's probably part of the whole don't unplug me future motion attempt to stop us from unplugging the battery. The only thing that could be to me is an anti right to repair move. Just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't stop people from doing it. It doesn't stop people from disconnecting anything, but it stops your board from working. So just doesn't make any sense to me. Anti right to repair, not a fan. Don't understand it. I'm literally here not trying to replace anything, but I'm proving a point. You guys should be able to repair your own stuff. So. I'm just getting this thing ready. You can't see, it's too bright. I'm just gonna have to record the screen on this for you guys.
So we're recording the screen. I'm going to turn this back on. It already died. Okay, it's back on. Once this connects, I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to go straight to Webler. I'm going to go down to find a one wheel. I'm going to connect. Once it shows up, enter factory mode. Calibrate BMS and level. And I'm going to close Webler. I'm also going to power cycle the board. And I'm going to reconnect to it. Still thinks it's at 1%. But let's see. Can we ride it? Can we ride it? Yep, we can ride it. Anti-ride to repair. But we are anti-anti-ride to repair. That's how it's done. You can replace your battery in the GT. You can disconnect your battery in the GT. Just keep in mind, it might go down to 1%. If that happens, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it back into the charger, let it go up to 100%. You'll be golden. Shouldn't take as long as a normal charge because it's not actually empty. So that's that. Anyway, I fumbled around with that thing. It's kind of a funny concept breaking something just to fix it but there's some people out there who wanted me to put my money where my mouth is and that's exactly what i did so if you want to work with your battery i don't i definitely don't encourage anybody to mess with their battery but if you need to disconnect it for any reason or you need to replace it say that yours is bad and you have another one that you want to swap from another board or salvage from somebody else you can do it now you can do the same thing with the bms Options are endless. It's your board. You spent $2,200 on it, plus, especially if you have custom rails like me, things like that, you should be able to do what you want with it. So enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time.